Hello, it's 9 p.m. in RTD. It's time to English Edition for tonight's headlines. So we have. The Health State chairs uh, the 20 sessions of the Council of Ministers. Uh, for the international scene, EU hackers disabled ISIS leading information resources. Uh, Welcome to our newsroom, uh, messages of condolence from the President of the Republic for, to his uh, French counterpart, uh, the President of the Republic, Ismail Marghele, sent a messages of condolence uh, today, Tuesday, to his French counterpart, Emmanuel Macron, whose country is uh, deplored the death of 13 of his soldiers engaged in the Operation Barkhane, dedicated to the fight against uh, terrorism in Mali and the Sahel. In his master's present, Gil expressed uh, his compassion and solidarity and described the deceased soldiers as a hero in the services of the fight against terrorism. It's one of the greatest problems in the contemporary world. The peoples and government of Djibouti join me in expressing their sympathy and support for the entire friendly French nations. Uh, the head of state said that this tragedy perfectly illustrated France's commitment to face the sacrifices linked to the triumph of peace and the rule of uh, law over dictate uh, intolerance and obscurantism and terror. President Ismail Marghello also wrote reiterating his uh, saddened uh, condolence uh, to his uh, French counterpart Emmanuel Macron. Under the chairmanship of uh, His Excellency Ismail Marghele, President of the Republic, the Head of State and the Head of Government held the 20 sessions of the Council of Ministers on Tuesday, 26 uh, November 2019. Listen to the report. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, sous la présidence du chef de l'État, Son Excellence, M. Ismail Marghele, s'est tenue la 20e séance du Conseil des ministres en ce mardi 26 novembre 2019. Étaient inscrites à l'heure du jour cinq questions. At the beginning of the season, the Prime Minister and the Minister of the Interior made a statement on the heavy weather conditions and rainfall in recent days, which caused severe flooding in the capital. All the members of the General Staff of the Relief Organization Plan, called the ORSEC Plan, were convened on 22 November and measures were taken. They stressed that the, all the human and material resources of the state have been mobilized to deal with this disaster. In addition, the tasks of the various public institutions concerned have been divided up and operational command posts have been set up near the various sites selected. The various national forces were mobilized, particularly for the transport operations for the population blocked in several parts of the city. They recalled the expansional nature of these floods. Punch orders for responses were thus implemented by the various institutions and governmental and non-governmental organizations, in particular the provision of equipment, food and hygiene kits to the victims, and more than 5,000 people were carried for in, in the various evacuations and accommodation sites. On the other hand, the Prime Minister and the Minister of the Interior also informed the Council of the urgent efforts and action to be taken in the coming days to evacuate rainwater on the main avions of the capital and the districts. To this end, it was also decided to take measures to evacuate sludge from traffic arteries, relieve congestion in access roads, permanent disinfections at disaster stricken housing sites, space sparing and vector control, distribution of impregnant mosquito nets, and straining epidemiological surveillance as well as increased vigilance at the level of health facilities. In addition, the head of state reminded the members of government of the urgent need to take all the necessary measures to strain the mobilization of service in order to increase the execution of pumping operations and the release of drainage and stormwater drainage channels in the affected areas. He stressed the need to strain the coordination of the various institutions. The implementation of action preventive measures included the preparation of plans he called for better organizations of the service concert to provide rapid assistance to the affected populations. To avoid pot potential emergencies and disasters, he had instructed the creation of food stocks, medicines, equipment, and energy resources. For the Minister of Higher Education and Research, first question, communication on the 2019 academic year. The Minister of Higher Education and Research made a communication concerning the start of the 2019 academic year and stated that this academic year has gone well. Since its creation, the number of students has increased steadily from 461 in 2001 to 10,000 in 2019, spread over seven facilities. The Minister pointed out that the university now has a significant number of qualified professors. 
50% of whom are under 35 years of age. This young teaching staff represents a major assist for the university in, in terms of dynamism. Thus, the major challenge for the university is to train these young people and set up incentive systems to encourage and retain them, especially after ob obtaining their PhDs. On the other hand, with the support of the African Center of Excellence Project and to increase the training offer, and to increase the training offer, two masters have been created, namely the Logistics and Transport Masters and the Data Science Masters. These training courses are designed to meet the country's socio-economic demand. He indicated that the structure of research is underway with the creation of multidisciplinary teams in the fields of logistics and transport, energy, the environment, and digital technology, and that in terms of governments, the modernization of the university will enable the implementation of strategic management tools. To this end, working groups are being set up to determine the relevant steering indicators to be put in place for optimal university management. In accordance with the recommendations of the High Council for the Evolution of Research and Higher Education, this inclusive process should lead to the implementation of global vision with performance indicators at the end of the 2019-2020 academic year. In the future, emphasis will be placed on expanding the range of training opportunities, strengthening disciplinary research activities to support master's degree courses, strengthening language teaching with innovative methods and a professional integration. As for the Minister of Energy in charge of Natural Resources, Second question, draft order approving and implementing the 2020 estimated budget for the International Hydrocarbon Society of Djibouti. The provisional budget for the International Hydrocarbon Society of Djibouti for the year 2020 is set at 35 billion Djibouti francs. In 2020, the company aims to pursue the diversification program toward the oil industry, both in transportation, storage, and refining of petroleum products. The International Hydrocarbon Society of Djibouti plans to carry out an investment program in 2020 to carry out its missions. The spokesperson of government, Mohamed Ali Yusuf, told us more about the bills who adopted. Listen to him. A question concerns a project of law portant approbation des comptes financiers de l'ONEAD pour l'exercice 2017. Third question, draft order on the opening balance sheet of the real estate and land development company. The purpose of the draft order is to adopt the opening balance sheet of Society Real Estate and Land Development Company at the 1st January 2018 with total assets of 18 billion Djibouti francs. The purpose of the opening plan sheet to, is to determine the value of the assets for the formation of the SIAF created by the law number 8, year 2018. This new entity, which replaces the real estate of Djibouti, is responsible for implementing the government's policy on the land development of land intended for physical housing constitutions, operations, and the production and marketing of building materials. The adoption of the draft order completes the legal and institutional arrangements for the effective establishment of the company and enables the effective start of the activities of the new structure. At the end of the Council of Ministers, the Minister of Higher Education made a mission report on his participation in the 6th Annual Knowledge Summit held from 18 to 20 November 2019 in Dubai. The Minister of Muslim Affairs reported on his participation in the form of Minister of Culture organized by UNASCO, which was held from 19 to 21 November 2019 in Paris. Somali delegation visiting Djibouti was received by the President of the Ports and Free Trade Zone Authority, Abakar Omar Hadi, delegation led by the President of the Southeast Regions of Somalia, Mr. Abdul Aziz Hassan Mohammed, was composed of uh, both of members of the Somali federal government and officials from the regional administration is headed. The visit uh, of the president of the southeast region of Somalia to Djibouti concerns a mission of studies, learning, assimilationist and acquisitionist and of expertise on the concept of the creation of power infrastructure. The next morning, Saguadi Towers of the country's various port infrastructure was held starting with the Djibouti Port Container Terminal, Adora the Container Terminal, placing through the Pika 23 International Free Zone. The Somali delegation has immersed itself in the capacity of this infrastructure, which makes uh, which make Djibouti a regional uh, hub of reference in world trade exchanges. The President of the National Assembly, Mohamed Ali Hamed, has received uh, this morning a strong delegation from Qatar led by the speakers of the 
Majlis al Shura, Mr. Ahmed bin Abdullah bin Zaid, and compromising 16 member discussions between between the president and the delegation of Qatar focus on strengthening cooperation between the two in particular between the two parliaments. In addition, discussion is focused on the establishment of a parliamentary friendship group between Djibouti and Qatar Djibouti, quote, to the collaborations of the president of the assembly as well as the advisors of the Adnan participate in the meetings. The Qatar parliamentary delegations participate in the work of the African Parliamentary Union in Djibouti, which observes studies. The heavy rains uh, that have fallen in the recent days in capitals and the interior district have significantly affected the population, destroyed their, their houses, and uh, making the main roads inaccessible. To this end, the Orsec plane uh, has been launched uh, to assist the victims in this context. The Djibouti Army, the forces, fulfilling their duty of patriotism, have started spared no effort to assist the civilian population in need. Thus, since Thursday, November 21, the armed forces, uh, headed by the Chief of the General Staff of the Armed Forces, General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim, has mobilized all the necessary means to evacuate citizens on board a true transport truck to transport them to their respective districts. The armed forces also actively participate in the distributions of food and hygiene kit to flood victims uh, in the capital's various development center. It is in continuity that the armed forces carried out uh, yesterday's an op operation to reintegrate the displaced uh, population settled in the college of the stadium city. These operations are provided by the mayor of Djibouti, Fatum Awali Osman, involved in the participation of the security and defense forces. Thus, after an inspection visit to the neighborhoods to acquire the lowered water level, the green light was given to move the, city, the victims to their home. To do this, more than uh, 10 troop transport trucks were requisitioned to move the victims of the storm starting from the college in the stadium city. Chinese uh, armed forces based in Djibouti have set up uh, intervention teams to pump uh, waters in certain areas, including the neighborhood 7, which was uh, severely affected by the floods of foreign forces, including the Chinese uh, and the French army and many others have continued to work hard to remedy these situations once finished and the area dried up. Uh, the various Djibouti armed corps proceeded with the plan to return the family to their homes. Uh, as part of the RSEC plane, the Coast Guard taking advantage of the drop in the flood of Humbuli intensified its researches this morning by mobilizing significant human and material uh, resources to meticulously count the entire length of the flows uh, and the junctions of Humbuli with the sea at Downs. The DIV team, reinforced by a large number of divers, resumed researches on the Flood side, uh, while on the seaside, others Coast Guard personnel equipped uh, with equipment designed uh, for mangrove research is carried out uh, through inspections of all sectors. Around 9 a.m., the search led uh, discoveries of two bodies in the junctions of Humbuli the, to the sea, and the two bodies were immediately made available to the competence authority for further identification and restitution. The Djibouti Coast Guard cherished the pains of the family who lost the loved ones uh, in this disaster is caused by the torrential rains and once again uh, renew its condolence to the families of the victims. 
the sanit the health uh, continues its preventions and uh, proactive activities within, within the framework of OrSec plan to fight the risks of uh, disease with epidemic potential such as malaria, disease and viral fevers. It is a preventive strategy implemented by the Department of Health to prevent uh, the proliferations of mosquitoes, of flies and all insect vectors in the transmissions of infections. These spreading activity provide appropriate and efficient public and environmental health solutions to reduce the negative uh, impact caused uh, by fluids which if uh, not uh, treated can have uh, adverse consequences on the health of the population. Thus, emergency preventive surgeries will be carried out mainly in the affected districts of the municipality of Plaus, which are heavily affected by the bad weather is to contribute to the gradual mitigations and eliminations of the risk factors through complementary and combined actions. Uh, Emergency aid for Djibouti in response to recent heavy rains and floods, uh, the government of Japan decided on uh, 25 November 2019 to provide uh, the Republic of Djibouti of basic necessity covers uh, through the Japan Cooperation Agency, JICA, in response uh, to the damage caused by the recent rains and floods, Japan has decided to provide this emergency assistance to Djibouti in response to its humanitarian needs in view of the request of the government of the Republic of Djibouti in the light of the humanitarian perspective and friendly relations between Japan and Djibouti. In this context, all uh, the members of the government and all senior officials of the countries have mobilized uh, to fulfill their duty of patriotism uh, and have spared no effort to assist the civilian population in need. And it is with this uh, in mind that the clearing operations of the rainwater uh, drainage canals and the evacuations of rainwater in the district have begun in, since uh, the heavy rain that fell in the capital stopped, thus water pump have been dispatched in all the district of the city in order to evacuate the, the water, is, uh, the rain water is in the district. This may also be the cases in the homes that have been significantly affected to the largest rainfall. In addition, these uh, storm water uh, drainage operations, which are of the capital importance and great scope, have also reached the territories of the city of uh, Djibouti thanks to the mobilization of all the necessary resources uh, and the effort deployed by all members of government as well as the country's uh, senior officials. Seventy percent of rainwater was evacuated from the country's uh, major arteries. It may also be found in the district uh, most affected by the torrential rains. Uh, the prefect of the city has uh, indicated that it is uh, important uh, to stress uh, the initiations and implementations of the RSEC plane organization of the civil protection response uh, has already boomed free to in insofar uh, as global assistance has been provided to all disasters that have received all the necessary assistance for which they had the greatest need. Following the heavy recent uh, heavy rains that recently hit Djibouti City, a team from Djibouti Radio Television is visit loan today to the site friendships of where are. We arrived at the site. We were able to visit this imposing hydraulic infrastructure designed to protect the capital from the frequent flooding of the Humbly Flood uh, and 270 meters long and 35 meters high. These hydraulic structures with a total capacity of uh, 12 million cubic meters of water are designed to protect the capital against the frequent floodings of the Humbly. It is also a que from uh, questions from the President of the Republic, who is the initiator of this project. Developing agriculture in this part of the national territory, fortunately, we have nothing uh, to fear because uh, thanks to these dams built in the forms of pyramid uh, and located 30 kilometers from the capital, the city of Djibouti is protected from any floods coming from the 
the construction is, uh, of these dams is very commendable initiative of the President of the Republic who has invested himself for the realizations of this dam which has today protected the city from any floodings and thanks to the efforts of the President of the Republic, frequent floodings is only a distant memory and at present the dams hold 10 million cubic meters of water out of the 14 million cubic meters. Distribution of clothes and sun lamp uh, to children in Buya, in keeping with its in tradition, the Union for Development and Culture (UDC) UDC distribute uh, clothes and sun, sun lamp uh, to children, poor, poor families in Buya on Friday. The ceremony was presided over by the president of the UDC, Mr. Mohammed Hassan Kamil, and the deputy prefect of Tura, Abdullah Kamil. The ceremony was also marking the, pre the presence of the notables from Buya. I have remembered that the village was devastated by a strong wind a few weeks ago. It has welcomed speech the village, the village chief of Buya, Ali Yusuf, stressed the importance and necessity of the solidarity, thanked the UDC for its uh, constant support and the poor population and children, especially in remote areas of the country. For his part, uh, the president of the UDC, Mohammed Hassan Kamil, after thanking the people of Buya for their warm welcome, summarized the activities of the organization, which has been serving the most uh, disadvantaged segment of the population for more than uh, four decades. As for Dora, Sub Prefecture Abdullah Kamil thanked uh, uh, the UDC for the gestures it's making to relieve the most privileged segment of society. Due to the bad weather, is, uh, the prefect of Ali Sabah region is Musa Adan Migane had a meeting yesterday afternoon with all the NGOs operating in the region in the conference room. The purpose of this special crisis uh, meeting was to take together the necessary measures, assistance, and add uh, to deal with the damages caused by the torrential rains that affected the inhabitants of the city localities and nomadic population. The first deputy, the, the deputy prefect, uh, Muhammad, uh, Muhammad Abbas, uh, and the second deputy, uh, Mr. Khadar Idris Suge, took part in this meeting. As part of the activity of Djibouti Personal System Security Project in Dikhil, Djibouti pa Plants and Animal Productivity Enhanced Project funded by the European Union had implemented by the Food uh, Agriculture uh, Organization UNHFAO in collaboration with the Minister of Agriculture, Water, Fishery, Livestock and Fishery Resources. Our joint mission is composed of uh, François Bernard Rural Development Environment Project uh, and Cooperation Head of the Food Security Rural Development Environment Project uh, Representative in Djibouti and to IGAT Value International Project Coordinator, Mr. Waters, officers in agriculture at FAO, was held in the Dekhel region on Wednesday, uh, November. The objective of the mission was to visit the achievement of these two projects, is to discuss with project beneficiaries and local authorities to monitor the implementation of activity. Delegation this first visit, the 13 Waters in the Dekhel region is the 20 November 2019 uh, to contact with satisfaction is its uh, fulfill, uh, filling with quality waters and the use of this water by agro-pastoral population of the surrounding localities uh, and then our animal population. The mission is then went out to file of 20 November 2019 to visit the project carried out of the levels of agro-pastoral demonstration is perimeter which covers an area of two hectares managed by uh, 56 women and is intended by for gardens uh, and folders productions. For the international scene, uh, Daesh uh, attack on the web, a global cyber attack was carried out against the online propaganda on militant of Islamic State group. Uh, Thousands of active uh, accounts for Arnak uh, Daesh's propaganda agency were attacked by Belgian investigators in collaboration with experts from the European Police uh, Agency, Europol, 
in uh, addition to military activities on the battlefield in Syria and Iraq attacking on European territory, the Islamic State is also making a huge battles on the web in the forms of propaganda coordinated through as a vast network of communication canals that said every one there see the spokespersons of the Belgian Federal Prosecutor's Office. Uh, operations led uh, to the identification and deletions of uh, 26,000 elements related to the content supporting Islamic State. Uh, this is it uh, for the news. Thanks for watching us.